Good evening, friends. It's Mel. Welcome back to my kitchen. I just wanted to share a little of our ride to Carver's Apple Orchard in Cosby, Tennessee. We went here a few weekends ago, got some apples, and just enjoyed the day together as a family. Ate in their country-style restaurant and just enjoyed the beautiful scenery. Today is the last of Fall Food Friday, and I'm going to make an apple cider chicken. This recipe is something that I saw Mickey make. Her channel is called My Bashful Life. I'll be sure to link her channel and her video for this chicken for you below. The ingredients are very simple, things you'd have on hand. That's a big pack of chicken, but I'm just be using less than half of it, salt, pepper, flour, garlic powder, some balsamic vinegar, apple cider, you need an apple, and you're going to start out just taking one apple, and I did use a little bit more than what Mickey used in her recipe, so I wish I had went ahead and cut up another small apple for this, but you're going to start out peeling your apple and just cutting it into wedges. You're going to take a big Ziploc baggie and you're going to put in four tablespoons of flour, some salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, and then it calls for allspice and I used pumpkin pie spice. Combine all that together in the bag and then put your chicken in and toss it around to coat it really well. I've just got some olive oil and butter heating in a skillet and I'm going to put in my chicken and brown it really well on each side, maybe three to four minutes each. And you can see the pumpkin pie spice is making this a really pretty color too as it browns up. Once you get it browned up pretty good, you're going to add in your 3 fourths cup of apple cider and then a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And you will notice my husband coming in a couple of times to check out this dish. He was just not sure about this. He's not a real fruit lover anyway, and he likes his things just pretty plain and simple. So he keeps coming in to check on this and see what's going down with his dinner. <laughs> I put the apple slices in on top of that, and you're just going to cover it and let it cook down. Just turn it down kind of to a low heat. There comes my big fancy skillet lid again. And I do just turn it every now and again and it'll continue to brown up just a little bit. But I'm just letting it cook low and slow until it gets to an internal temperature of 165 degrees just to make sure all that chicken is done. And the apples cook down so nice, it makes a beautiful, thick, apple-y sauce that goes over top of the chicken. This was a really quick, little easy recipe that just had all of the fall flavors in it. We really did like this chicken. I especially loved it, but I like fruity dishes like this. It's definitely different. It's not like fried chicken. The, you know, the apples and the apple cider does a wonderful job tenderizing that chicken. But, you know, it's definitely got 
the sweet flavor to it but look how pretty and brown that got and the crispy bits I just served this with some green beans some mashed potatoes and I made a little bag of that 90 second rice this was a great dish thank you again Fallon for hosting these fall food Friday videos thank you all for watching and until I see you next time I send you love from my kitchen